Hello and welcome to Babli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create Google documents from Google Sheets and send email. Let's say that I'm an international school and here I have organized an essay competition. Now I want that every time a new entry is submitted online, then automatically the details must be added in my Google Sheet. Now from this Google Sheet, I want to create a document with a template. And then finally, I want to send an email to the person who has just submitted the entry, giving him a confirmation about the entry submitted. Now to do this, I will have to integrate Google Sheets with Google Docs and Gmail. And I can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Google Sheets. Then my action applications will be Google Documents and Gmail. Now this entire process can be automated and integrated and you can do the same. To understand how you can do this yourself, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared. Now here you will have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to create Google documents from Google Sheets and then send an email. So here I'm going to click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens. Action is do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a notification about the amount debited either on WhatsApp or SMS. Now, how does that happen with the help of automation? In such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action applications will be any application with which you can send these messages. Now, let's come to our use case. Let's say that with the help of any formula application, I have received the responses of students who have enrolled for essay competition. Now here, let's say that entire data has been embedded in my Google Sheet. So here my trigger application will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And then the trigger event here will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay, now here I'm going to first show you the Google Sheet that I have. So this is the spreadsheet. The name is Essay Competition Participants. So here we have the following fields, name, email address, essay topic and the content. So once we have received the essay entry, I have got the data in my Google Sheet just like this. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. You can see here we have received this webhook URL. So this is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Google Sheets. Now here we have to integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So to do that, first I'm going to take you to my spreadsheet. Here we are going to go to extensions. So you can see add-ons, go there, go to get add-ons. Now this here is my Google Workspace Marketplace. Here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. Here it is. Now you can see that this particular application has already been installed on my system. Now make sure that you have to install this and once you are done with that, close this window and do not forget to refresh the page. This is absolutely important. Now once you have refreshed this, we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we'll go back to extensions and you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks here. We'll go to initial setup. Now as we reach here, you can see that the system has already selected the sheet and here I'm going to paste this URL that we had just copied. So I'm going to paste this here and then we have the trigger column. The trigger column is the final data column where the data is added and as per our sheet, it is column D. So I'm going to mention D here, click on send test. And as we do that here, we can see that the test data has been sent successfully. I'm going to now click on submit. And the configuration is all set. So let's close this, go back to Pabli Connect and see if we have received the response. And yes, here it is. This here is the trigger column. Then we have the name of the spreadsheet. Here we have the spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID. Then here is the row index. Then we have the name, essay topic, email address of the person and the essay, the content. 
Now here we want that every time a new row is added here, then automatically Pabli Connect should be able to get the response. To ensure that, we are going to go to extensions. Here we are going to go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and you can see send on event. You just have to click on this and as you do that, you would be able to see the check mark right in front. So please make sure you do that. Okay, now once I have received this information, I already have a Google document template ready. Let me show you the same. So this here is the template. So we have got the title content and submitted by. So here will be our title. Then the content will come and then it is submitted by the name of the user. Now I'm here going to add another action application. The name of the application will be Google Docs. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to create document from template. Let's click on connect. Here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with Google Docs account. I'm going to select Add New Connection, Sign In with Google. Okay, so here we have to choose the account. I have chosen the account. Now here, Pabli Connect Drive wants to access my Google account. This is absolutely secure. I'm going to click on Allow. Now, once this is done here, you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Google Docs and Pabli Connect are now connected. Now, as I come down here, first of all, we have to enter the template document's name. So you can see all the documents. This is the document that we have just created. The name is test document. Then we have the new documents name. Now here for the name of the document, I'm going to use the name of the user who has just submitted the entry. Then I'm going to put a hyphen and here I'm going to enter the essay topic. Then we have new documents location. So in my Google Drive, here we have a folder contest demo folder. So I'm going to choose that. Here it is. Then we have the title. Now here I'm going to map the information. How? First of all, we need the name, the title. For this, I'm going to click on this, go to step one. And as I take you down, you can see the essay topic. So here I have entered the title. Now I'm going to enter the content. So I'm going to repeat the process. This here is the content. Now the name of the person and this here is the name of the person. And this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. Now this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Let's say I had written this entire information, the information that we have entered here manually. In that case, even when we have received a new entry with new information, it wouldn't have taken the new information. Instead, it would have taken the same name, the same essay topic and the content. So to avoid that, we have to map the information. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the response according to which now this document must be created. Let's go and check the same. So I'm going to take you to our documents. And here you can see this here is a document that has been created. Here we have got the title, then we have got the content and here is submitted by the name of the person. Now, once this is done, I want to make sure that this is a shareable file. So I am going to add another action step here. This time my application will be Google Drive. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to share a file with anyone. I'm going to click on connect. This step is necessary because if you wish to share the file, you have to make it public. Now I'm going to click on add new connection, sign in with Google. Here again, we have to choose the account. And once the account is chosen, I have to provide the access. I'm going to click on allow. And as I do that, here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have to enter the file ID. Now in the previous step here, we have received the document ID. This is what we have to map. I'm going to turn on this mapping button, delete this. And now I'm going to go to step two, go down. And this here is the document ID. Let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received the response, which means that now this particular file is a public file. Now, finally, I'm going to send an email to the person who has just submitted this entry. So here I'm going to choose my final action application as Gmail. Let's click on this. Next is the action event and here it will be sent email. I'm going to click on connect. So here Pabli Connect now wants to connect with my Gmail account. Select add new connection, connect with Gmail. Here again, first we have to choose the account with which this particular mailbox has been connected. Now Pabli Connect wants to access my Google account and I'm going to click on allow. 
and as we do that here we can see that the authorization has been successful now once this is done first of all the recipient's email address let's map this i'm going to click on this go to step one and this here is the email address now if you wish to enter the cc and bcc you can always do that next we have sender's name so here i'm going to enter abc international school let's say that this entire international essay competition has been organized by this particular school then we have the email subject entry submitted successfully next we have email content type so this is plain now here we have to mention the email content so i'm going to write dear now let's map the name of the person here it is let's put a comma and here i'm going to write you have successfully submitted your entry for international essay competition results will be declared soon and will be shared on this particular email address so here i have mapped the email address of the person regards abc international school now if you wish to share this file so you can here enter the file name and here you can enter the attachment i'm just going to leave this blank click on save and send test request and as I do that, here we have received the response. Let's check the same. So the status is shown as the mail has been sent, which means that now the person must have received this email. Let's go and check the same. And here you can see that, yes, we have received the email. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success. Now let's check the same in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to the Google Sheet. And here, let's say that the name of the person is smart person. Then we have got the email address, which is smart at publitudes.com. Then we have got the essay topic, which is era of automation. And here I have entered the essay. Now, as soon as this new row is added in my Google sheet, then automatically what should happen first, this Google document must be created. Let's go and check the same. So I'm going to take you back and let's open this particular document. You can see we have received the document. Now let's go and check the email. And yes, here we can see we have received another email. So this basically means our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Google Sheets where the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then our first action application was Google Docs where we had to create a document from template. Then our second action application was Google Drive where we had to make this document public. And our final action application was Gmail where we had to send an email to the person who has just submitted the entry. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.